Hey, 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 let's get it, girl. Get it. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Mike, everyone hit that like button? <laughs> hey, Mike. Hey, Aunt Tia's backyard. Hey, Miss Cheryl. Hi, hey, Unicorn Tia. Lady. How y'all doing? Hey, Miss Cheryl. Hey, Unicorn Lady. <laughs> unicorn Lady says, I'm not canna tonight. It's all right. Uh, so I'm just cooking some chicken and dumplings. Yes. She can Wednesday night. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's Miss Cheryl. Miss Cheryl said she can Wednesday night and she's making chicken and mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's, it does sound delicious. I haven't had chicken and dumplings since my mom made it. I don't make chicken and dumplings. I've never had mom, a chicken and dumpling. I believe that to you. I believe that. And it was delicious. My mommy used to make it for us. And it was delicious. So what's everybody so how's got everybody doing? Doing? I gotta hype Where's myself up. I gotta wake up. <laughs> God, so wait. we are canning some beef roast. Gina, is yours all done and in the canner? Not all in the can, or I left one out to show you it packed. Nice. You got a good little pack going on. Yes. Yeah, so I got, um, this is quart. I have three quarts and one pint. Nice. And y'all, I cut up four roasts <laughs> and got three, which is still good because one of these could feed us easily and with leftovers because I don't eat meat. So when I say us, I mean my husband and my daughter, which this is going to be two meals. Like if it's some, add some potatoes, some carrots, some celery, all the things. Yes. So I have two of them already in there and a pint. I'm going to stick this one in there. I do have it warming up. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on it because Tia's going to finish doing what she's doing. But y'all know how mine be tripping. I'm just saying. So yes, I have to finish cutting mine. I only have two roasts and I'm doing pints. I'm not doing quarts today. So I've cut about half of the second roast and I'm just um, taking that fat off as I can and putting it into cubes. Hey, Mike. Mike, what's on the menu tonight? So here is the last of my... Well, nothing in that cup. Jeez. And don't say anything. Hey, Miss Felicia. What'd you say? Miss Felicia just popped in. Hi, Miss Felicia. I thought I had some still in the cup. I was trying to fill it up. It didn't have it. Drank all the water. I had a nice day out with the girls today. Nice. Feeling nice. energized. Lots of fun and laughs. We're had by all. That is awesome. I always have a good time when I hang with my girls. Mike said I wanted shrimp New Year's, but was out. So I'm having it now. Awesome. Nice. Can't go wrong with shrimp. I don't like shrimp. But my Otis eats it like it's going out of staff. Marcus, where are your sharp knives? Y'all, cutting up these rolls. What's well, work? But I, I think me and Tia did the same thing. Ours kind of set out um, for a while what, to get prepared for today. I bought them today um, at Sam's, but they were room temp. And cutting off that excess fat was just work on that meat because it was very Market. soft. I, I, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't sturdy where you just cut through it. 
if you ain't got a really sharp knife. Oh, you made coconut shrimp? You fancy. Ugh. My oldest loves shrimp. She loves it pretty much every way it can be made. Pretty much any way it can be made. So guys, I have my canner on the stove. Um, it's warming up. It's, it's touchable, so it's not hot yet. But this was a cold pack canning. So we're putting cold jars in the canner. You don't want to put the cold jars into a hot pan. So it's warming up. Look at her over there with them knife skills. I done seen Tia chop vegetables. I was like, you look like them people on them cooking shows. Mm -hmm. I, I chop was vegetables like that. Knife, but I got it now. Oh, I'm gonna cut my finger, you have. Cut that meat. Right at the end, too. I was like, I was so careful. Because my knives are, I don't use the one that I use today very often, so I knew it was really sharp. And... Oh, I wear gloves when I touch my meat, um, Miss Felicia. Yeah. You know that. I use gloves for everything. I do not like touching it either. That's why I have gloves. I don't know if you can even tell, but that box that's right there, that's a box of gloves. And I got a box, backup box. You can't see it because of my name, but it's one on the floor. So when I run out, I'll just move that one up there and have two extra boxes on standby. I use them for um, handling raw meat, and I use them when I'm grilling because I'm usually handling raw, raw meat. So, yeah. Even with gloves, it doesn't bother me as much with gloves. As long as it's not touching me, I'm okay. Look how that cuts through now. Because if it gets under my nails and stuff, it feels like it never comes from up under my nails. I love just egg noodles, butter, and pepper. Nice. I like that, too. I do love egg noodles. And I can do it simple with just um, butter and pepper. Everything I could do just with pepper as my spice. I don't do a lot of salt, but I love pepper. And I've gotten into celery, but I don't want the I didn't want the salt in it. So this is just um, celery that I dehydrated and made into a powder. I like it too. Is it celery you grew? It is not. And I did grow celery. However, when I was harvesting my celery, I never thought to dehydrate it. It was Lydia who told me about dehydrating it, and it was way after season. It was I literally just did that maybe a month and a half ago. But this year, when I grow my celery, you better believe I'm going to be dehydrating it and making my powder. Mm-hmm. Because it tastes better. And I'm going to try right. dehydrated tomato skins, too. Mm -hmm. You good to go? I am good to go. Everything is um, cut, and I'm ready. So I'm going um, What you need to do, Miss Girl? You haven't dehydrated anything. Is that what you're saying? And celery juice. I do like to use celery when I juice. I don't like to have it by itself. I've never had it by itself, so I can't say I don't like to. But I do um, like to um, have it in my juices when I juice, which I haven't done in a long time. Alicia, I cheated. I couldn't get it to germinate. I tried three, maybe even four times. I don't even remember. Tried to get it to germinate so many times. Indoors, on a heating mat. Because I was like, let's try this. Finally, I just went to my local nursery. And um, it was it's a family-owned nursery. It was, it's not the big box stores. And they had celery. And I bought it. It was already... Um, started and everything. 
they were starts and I brought them home, put them in a grow bag. And I mean, it grew like crazy. And what was that? The celery. Celery. Yeah, I couldn't get it to germinate. I'm going to try again this year, but I could not get celery seeds to germinate. Not from seed. So I bought starts. So if it fails again, I will buy starts again. But when I tell you, if you, it's in my beginning videos for the garden, you'll see how the size of them when I got them, they grew a lot. This year, I am going to put more on my herbs and dehydrating and preserve, like dehydrating them. That's going to be my way of preserving them. Ooh, dehydrated, but it's, I've had, um, is that the same as being dried? I've had dried pineapple. It is really concentrated and it's very sweet. I did try the paper towel method, Mike. I could not get them little suckers to germinate. <laughs> I saw that um, later and I, tr I did try that as well. I got something to germinate that way though. I can't remember what it was. Okay, so I only have five pints. Okay. Um, yes. Unicorn Lady, I did not um, pull those plants out until recently, like when I cleaned out my garden, like last week. They did not go to seed. I mean, they, they mushed because we got a really bad freeze here. You know, I'm not in Texas. <laughs> Some people love this season, but we were like negative 20 with the wind chill and all that, like Christmas time. It died. I was watching um, another um, channel's uh, video on their garden, and they were saying how when they, they had lost everything from the freeze and how it smelled too late. It smelled bad. Like, yeah, if you smell bad broccoli and stuff, that's what it smelled like in my yard. Because my broccoli had died, my all my greens. Um, and I think the greens only died because they didn't get, they weren't big. They were still very young. Um, so they didn't make it through the freeze. But I'm not worried about those because I'll just start more. Greens are just easy. Um, yeah, that's what happened. It went mushy. Um, everything. Um, yeah, it was gross. But now it's pretty clean out there. Um, I was out there today and I like um, added nutrient to the um, bed. I have six four by four raised beds. So I added some nutrient to it, some 511 and everything, tilled it up a lot, mixed all that in. And this is going to be out there because, you know, I can't really put any of my spring stuff out until um, the majority of it until after Mother's Day. I can do like onions and stuff before that. So I'm going to start some onions in house this month, probably in a week. Um, and transplant them. It's funny, you know, I'll be watching people's videos and they always talk about which plants don't like to be transplanted. I don't know. I don't think I shared it, but uh, my watermelon that I grew this year, transplanted. They were in my house growing for like two months. Transplanted. <laughs> oh, yes. And why those jars look bigger than pints? But I can see that they're pints. I couldn't find any wide mouth. I don't think I, I don't think I, I, I my chicken is canned up in wide mouth, so I don't think I have any more. Maybe a seed company. I did, so I do have celery that is from another seed company this year. It was um, in my gardener's. I bought his um, Utah tall. I think somebody sent me some some celery as well. But anyway, I do have um, some different seeds to try as well. That's a good idea, Mike. I did think of that, so I'm going to try that. Um, 
I don't have lemon right yet, right now, Unicorn Lady. I do think I want to get the Meyer lemon though. I did have the. I don't know how to say that. The, the little orange citrus thing, Kalamondin or something like that. It's out there. It's probably dying. Because I wasn't. I wasn't impressed with. Well, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So, You got your wide mouth from Target. I have to check Target out. It's right around the corner. That's where I found mine, too. But I didn't get... I had... I've had maybe two pint sets of them, but I canned up in all of them. I did the chili. I did the, the um, chicken. They're uh -huh. on wide mouth. I prefer wide mouth. I don't know why. I just I think I'm gonna do a recipe tomorrow with the canned chicken. I yeah. might record. I might make it. Mike got his his from Walmart. That is where I looked, and I could not find any. That one, Miss Felicia. That's the one I have. <laughs> that um citrus plant. I did put some um, five eleven in my cherry tree because it's in a big a big pot i don't know if i should it's it's in a big big pot How big? Like, it's big <laughs> and i'm still feeling like i might need to up pot it i don't want it in ground so yeah it's gonna no, i want to be able to control no. how big it gets and I don't have a very big yard, and I just don't want any. I don't have any trees in my yard, and I don't want it. Hey, Martika. Welcome. Hey, Martika. Felicia yeah. said hubby's found, hubby found her some, but she doesn't know where. Mm -hmm. Miss Cheryl says, I have the seeds for that one, Felicia. Oh, the column, column the, the citrus plant. <laughs> And Miss Felicia said, I'm not buying a pressure canner. I don't I don't know. Those eyeballs don't don't That's sound like okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, Miss Felicia. We we kind of just started. Um oh Tia did that fast, so she got her. See, that's why I be getting started before her. Now it's getting a little bit almost hot to two. Who had to touch? Um, we have we're canning pot roast. No, yes, is that what we're doing? Roast. Yes, beef roast. Beef roast. I don't and say pot, pot roast. roast. Huh? I, don't, I don't say pot roast. That's not. I don't I mean. either because it pot roast to me has the vegetables and stuff with it. It's all roast. It's just <laughs> roast. Well, it's different because you could do a Mississippi roast. You could do a pot roast. Yeah. A roast? Let's see. <laughs> I have some 17-gallon. See? Mine is big like that. It might be. It, it's big. It's big. So I'm going to leave it there. Is that you? Is that you? I don't you guys hear that? I, I hear I oh, I just every time it. I have touch. Uh huh. Because it's not a, it's not me. Um, somebody I'm mentioned sure the plant that I need. I have some questions about. Unicorn lady says same with my moringa. If it, my cord is in the way. Let me move it. If it will ever grow enough, I will try to control the growth. I, I plan on putting that in a um, pot as well. My question is, I think you answered this for me before, Miss Felicia. I hear it to you now, but it's coming from your end. It's coming from my end. I might go get my wireless mouse. Because I think it's my mouse that's doing it. Oh, yeah. Hey, Nita. 
Nita Callie. Hey, Tia. And all I saw you. you were on and just wanted to say hello. Hi. Hey. One of two of my kids is still trying to get leaves. I'm going to go grab your Moringa mouth. So, my question is Is it okay to put that out? Now, didn't you tell me it needs the code stratification, Miss Felicia, or was that the uh, echinacea or the sorrel? <laughs> I don't remember, but I remember you saying that about something. I'm going to try again with Moringa. Because I have Moringa I want to grow, I have echinacea I want to grow, and I have sorrel. Oh no no, none of them. It was something. None of them. Okay. I thought it maybe it was the sorrel. I think we did now. That you said would be okay. Why is that so much? No. Okay, so moringa no, but what about sorrel? That is hey, my Hi. being incognito with her blanket. Hi. Um, right. Hi. <laughs> um. And um, or was it echinacea? Until you do give up, never give up until you do give up. That. <laughs> Right. I'm not giving up on celery. I'm going to try it again. Now this year, okay, this is my third year gardening. Year one, I started everything too late. Not too late, but I started it late. Um, so I didn't get to harvest as much. I was still getting fruit, but we were changing into a colder season. Last year, I started too early. So first year, too hot. Second year, too cold. This year, baby bear, just right. Right? We're hoping for it. <laughs> I'm hoping for it. And I did write down my dates that I started last year, but I started way too early. And spell it cornflower, chamomile. Yes, cold stratified the seeds. I don't have those. She was invisible. <laughs> that blanket, that cloak of invisibility. Sorrel That's because you see her all the time. <laughs> and she does it all the time, guys. <laughs> I, I do too. I, I do too yeah. until we got that big 10 foot blanket from Costco. Do you realize how much rolling I got to do so it's not dragging on the see, floor? Already smoking. This is the stuff I be talking about. Let me turn my thing up. <laughs> I already see it smoke. I started before her. This is the stuff. Hey, Nikki. It's hot, though. Hey, Nikki. You could put seeds in the freezer long time or freezer two days if need planting right away. No. Cool. I, you know what? I've never I heard of thought it was something I needed to do. I've never heard um. of it. Echinacea is cornflower. Oh, I do remember us talking about that. We probably did. Thank he you. Says I meant fridge. Yeah. It is hot in there because I can hear noise. So I even got my thing turned the opposite way. Why am I turned this way? So that's usually in the back. Anyway, we ain't gonna bother with it. Echinacea is cornflower, and I did not know that. Um, fridge, long term, freezer, short term. Okay. Apparently, the plants don't need it because she said both of those plants are tropical. The uh, sorrel and the, um, 
moringa. So I need they need heat. But I am going to start, I think I could start the sorrel in, indoors on a heating pad, right? Maybe. Possibly. And moringa. See, I don't want to wait because sorrel, doesn't it take like nine months? It takes a long time. Nine months? Good Lord. I might be wrong about the time frame, but I know it takes a long time. Miss Felicia said yes, Sorrel. Okay. How early? Because I won't be able to transplant until May. How long would it be okay indoor? I know I'm asking a lot of questions, Miss Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> Unicorn Lady says yes. Sorrel like peppers take forever. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Cheryl says, I have my moringa seeds on heating pads right now. Ooh, but, Miss Cheryl, you're in Georgia. I think you can go out, you can transplant sooner than me. I'm not even trying to think about one seed right now. Because you are not a real gardener. No, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I have a whole notebook already, stuff written down. I have a plan of no. action. Listen, no. I know Nikki on it. Yes, it takes a bit. It got cold before mine really had a chance to take off. That's why I want to get started early with mine, Nikki. Because I want I want to get some. As long as you have room for it. Okay. I know that's right, Miss Cheryl. March, I ain't going outside to the end of May. <laughs> Seriously, with plant, with the garden anyway, as far as planting hers is already, I'm so sick of you. I usually do starts because I can't do, I can't start seeds indoors. I, I was able to start peppers, tomatoes, the watermelon. Um, I actually started corn indoors. But it got way too big, and I transplanted before it was our last frost, and then we got a frost, and it killed it. Um, I don't have a safe place. I don't. This is the only window we have that really is going to get the accurate amount of light. But with mm. Kodak, I don't trust them. I have grow lights, so that's how I do it. Even then, I, I just don't. I, don't I wouldn't even the garage, but the garage would be too cold. But. I'm like, where am I going to put something that he's not going to get? And then he loves him some dirt. You know what? Last year, now I would say Walmart. I heard that some cities, some people's cities that their Lowe's and Home Depot did as well. But I know for sure Walmart had starts that were way cheaper than Bonnie's. Um, and it was, you got like a six pack. So you got a variety yeah. of plants. Yep. And I heard some of the big boxes did that as well. But them, them Bonnie plants, Bonnie had lost her whole mind. And you know this year it's going to be worse. If anybody think it ain't, y'all have lost your mind. Mm -hmm. Them prices is going to be worse than last year. Mm -hmm. I don't start now. To the heat. They will be casualties to the heat. <laughs> oh, my and we'll goodness. Thank you. Really? I do Ooh, have a grow light. I do have a heating pad somewhere. Did you drop seeds indoors, Miss Felicia? And what did you drop? I want to drop my onions here soon. Maybe onions. Everything else that I want to, well, I might do some um, Swiss mm -hmm. chard. I heard parsley is very cold hardy, which I believe because I still have parsley out there. Um, it's not really putting on more, but it's not the plant isn't dead either. Um, I don't want to grow it in house because it grows really fast to me. I don't want to start it, I should say. Not this early. 
Miss Felicia says sell spark. It's a good business. She's That's telling true. you. Yeah, I know what. I will tell you, I am the worst. Okay, it's getting there. I can see it. It's getting there now. Let me turn it up again. All right. Um, but I am the worst because I don't want to do the work of it. I don't want to deal with the people. Bonnie is like, nah. Exactly. No, funny, yeah. Yes. Yes. And this year, I grew uh, pineapple sage last year. I'm not kidding you. That plant got probably just about five feet. It got tall as my tall tomato plants. And it was bushy. I kept having to cut it back. I'm not putting that. I put it in a bed. I put it in a bed with the tomatoes. Not this year. That that plant is prolific. Unless it's just my soil, that plant was prolific. That part, Miss Felicia, because everybody be like, I mean, you wouldn't believe there's people in other communities on here that I've sent some jelly to. And they're all like, you should sell it. I will buy the jelly. I don't want to do it. <laughs> That's not fun. It's fun when me and Tia get on here and can. This is fun. I would tell, because I remember when I first started canning, my father-in-law was real bad at it. You should sell it. Get the building and do this and do this. No, sir. It won't be fun. Then mm -hmm. I will not, I'll never do it again. I won't do it. Mm -hmm. I'll never pick up. No. Yep. Yep. Now, Miss Felicia, you said you dropped carrots. Um, are carrots, carrots aren't cold hardy, are they? I know you're not in a cold state. Are you guys past all that right now, pretty much? Turn mine down more. Do you have your weight on already? No. Uh, okay. I got three more minutes before I can add the weight. Okay. Okay. Yes and no for carrots. Okay. Someone was saying the same about crochet items. Yep. Yes. I was like, too many rules. You so right. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you know what? How, who's really strict? Because I know we got mostly, actually, I think pretty much everybody in here has a garden. Who's really like strict about what they put with what? Like I've heard some people on some channels say, you shouldn't grow this in the same bed with this or in the same pot with this. How many of you really follow that? I can't say that I really... I don't even know what it what can and can't, so I can't say that I really have followed it. I, but I, I know I that the only thing I've done is I put basil in with my tomatoes. But they say to do that. Mm -hmm. Other than yeah. that, yeah, anything goes. Yeah, I'm party mini that germinate though in the seventies here for the next ten days. <laughs> We didn't say anything, but we said it all. Just the kicks. Hey, over. Tina! Hi! Just hey, stop. You can stop. I knew you were talking to. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, is that? Yes. How y'all doing? I've missed you. And see if it focuses. These are my temps for the next few days. It's not and focused. Focus. Oh, there, there it go. is. 39, 42, 46. Is that 49? Just say 40s. Let's just say 40s. Let's just say 40s. 
Miss Felicia. All right, so it's 9.40. I'm going to put my weight on. <clears throat> and turn it all the way up. Mine is not quite there, even though I started before. <laughs> so it can get the rock in. But it is hissing and whatnot. And you know what? I just realized that's the top to my old, the older canner. But it's on the newer canner. Ah, uh, you know what though? Didn't we ask about that, and they said that was okay. It was that was, okay. We, found a, we found a yeah. Uh, Clausen sent something about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just grabbed it. Hey, learning to grow my own. How you doing? Hi, learning to grow my own. Tina, I don't have to email you so we can catch up. See how the kids and Franklin and everybody doing. GT was um, live earlier. He was he brought brought up Cannon with you again. He was like, we got to do it on a Sunday, but maybe in February. Did you email like, him? Can you send me his email address? Not I, will send it. I will send it to you. Thank you. Call you. I don't have your number. I just have your email address. Hi, the rambling homemaker. Hi, the rambling homemaker. Sorry, I didn't see you come in. Just it, it just popped up. The chat just jumped. <laughs> All of a sudden. You know, I do not like this ring light. This ring light like hurts my eyes and yeah. I'll be So usually when we're on our privates, I, I, I'm in the dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nikki says, Miss Miss you pit stop kitchen garden. It's been a lot of people popping up today that's been gone for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, who was that in the um the chat, Nikki? Um, I know her name is Stacy. What's her channel name? Lydia was just talking about her with us, Tia. And her name is Stacy. I remember her saying Stacy, but I can't think and of her. I was like, I could, yeah, and I was like, I haven't seen, I haven't been to that channel. And she said she hasn't put anything out for a little bit. She popped up today. I'm not going to remember. Stacy yeah. in the city. Uh, farming and gardening in the city or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Veggie mm -hmm. Farm? No, not Veggie Farm. It's another channel, um, Miss Felicia. It's like farming and gar gardening and farming or farming and gardening in the city. Something like that. With Stacy. So, so her name is in the channel name. Are you going to sit in the, mm -hmm. in the bedroom? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, something like that. Yep, like that. Gardening in the city with Stacy. There you go, Miss Felicia. Oh, I haven't been over to her channel yet. I'll have to check it out because gardening in the Lydia city. Was talking about her. Mm -hmm. she's oh, she's in the islands. Nice. All right. My and because I'm doing pints, I only got to go for an hour 15 minutes. Oh, I got to do some math. That's 50. Mine is just, oh, it doesn't seem like yours don't be spitting out as much as mine do. I don't notice you wiping up all that spittle. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But it's fitting. Okay. It's fitting. So, okay. It's so this will be done at 11 p.m. Mine will be done at 11 p.m. Okay. That's an hour and 15 minutes, right, Miss Felicia? Yes, she's in Jamaica. Nice. Okay. 
I can't never see the um smoke coming up. I just have to. I always put my hand near it to see if I could feel it. <laughs> Keep praying. Don't get burnt. I know. I don't put it right on top of it. I kind of put it to the side a little bit just to see if I could feel it. This week, say yes, 11 p.m. Look at mine going. I'm going to turn mine down more. I got it on four now. Yeah, mine is on high now, but it's, um, I haven't put my thing on yet. I haven't, I still have time before I do that. So I'm probably going to be, well, I'm going to be more than that behind you because I have to go an hour and 30, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And I typically do pints, guys. And I don't know why I was like, I thought Tia would do courts. So I was like, I'm going to just do courts. Because she typically does courts and I'm doing pints. I usually do courts. Why didn't I do courts? I had I had sound reasoning behind it. it it's okay. I don't remember what it was. They both work. <laughs> I think if I don't know how how often it's going to get used, how to do the smaller ones. And then if I know, then I'll do the bigger one. Mm -hmm. No. I think what it was, was I really thought that I was going to have more jars than that. And I said, if I do pints, I could stack them. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to stack the quarts. I really thought that, like. You and me both. I have I four more. Having... I pulled out seven quart jars. I thought I was going to do seven jars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Got my face cracked. Mm -mm. It did not take seven. I have four over there. It took three <laughs> quarts and one pint. I got five. Not even a whole. And that was four roast. roast. Four roast, guys. Four. Now, we did trim them of a lot of the fat, but still. Miss. Felicia says, I want to make some jelly. Don't need it. <laughs> I think when I I'll email it GP, I'm a, it'll be jelly. We'll can some jelly with him because he really wants to can. Yeah, I definitely need some jelly. I'm due. My husband's even been in the, the pepper one. They've been making like eggs and toast like for the last couple of weeks. That's why they've been doing this eggs and toast. And this morning, I slept in. Yeah. And I rolled over. Yep. Marcus had a plate of eggs and toast. And I was like. And rolled back over. Hilarious. Don't try to wake me up. <laughs> I think I said something too. Mm -hmm. Like I'm late. Don't want your food. <laughs> hey Miss Shirley. How are you? Hey, Miss Shirley. Oh, early had a long day. Hit the like button, family. Thank you. Yeah, five knees and jelly. jelly. Yesterday, you said you got a sewing machine because that paper lady be using it. So you didn't have a sewing machine before? Question mark. And you went out and got a sewing machine? Question mark. You said Miss Felicia. You mean unicorn lady? When that unicorn I did lady? say Miss Felicia, but I thought I remember unicorn lady was the one that showed us, but I thought the comment came from Miss Felicia yesterday. I must have got to me the line. I could be wrong. Oh, there's something. Somebody said it. I'm sorry. You have an extra one. I can't remember who said it for sure. Where's your weight, Gina? This one, I have an extra one though. So I had when I pulled this because okay. I had it over there. But remember, I had ordered one when okay. I had the other one, which I have that one still too. Um, I need to order an extra this one, one. This one came with the smaller one. So yeah, I have an extra one. This Felicia said, "Say what? Okay, maybe you didn't say it." It was Unicorn Lady. Unicorn I still lady, need to get rid of some of my cranberry sauce. I made 
Really? I I still have quite a bit too, though. I did too. My mom did not like the cranberry sauce, y'all. She didn't. She didn't. I haven't. Tried I didn't it. think I, mean, I tasted I mean, it that day, but I haven't had it since. Mm -hmm. I thought it tastes good, but then again, I don't know what real cranberry sauce tastes like. Cause me neither. I never I had real cranberry sauce. So it tastes good, but I don't know what it tastes like. Exactly. Hey, Michael. Hi, Michael. And hi, Kenyatta. Coming in late, hanging back with the thumbs up. Thank you so much. Miss Felicia says, I have three sewing machines. Unicorn lady says, that, that was her sewing machine. That was me. Okay. I just got my sewing machine last year. feel like I need to use it more, though. But it's not easily accessible. Once I move it, I feel like I'll use it more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I still have two minutes before my weight goes on, guys. Okay. So we are canning beef roast for those that just came in. We just got a, what, a chuck roast and um, trimmed the fat and cubed it up. Filled our jars raw pack method. So we didn't have to put anything in it besides the um, meat. Gina, did you end up putting salt in yours? I did. I put a teaspoon of salt in each jar. Okay. And that's um, it. I did. And she did pint or she did quarts. And I have pints going on in the back. Can mm -hmm. I? Yep. Broke? That's good evening. A juicy, what's a juicy? Is that a sewing machine? I'm not familiar with the sewing machine. So, is that a brand? Is that a brand of them? What is that? I, I think like it might be a sewing machine. A job? Did we talk about that once? I, did we talk about that once? Yeah, it's a sewing well, machine. It's a mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Yes, it's a brand. Okay. Yes, nice. Yeah, when I, I do see them when I watch the the videos, I'm doing a um. I'm making my husband a quilt and it's on our dining room table. So that's why I don't do it enough because the dining room table is kind of cut off. We Nobody goes back there but Chewy, really. Um, we've got chairs up because Kodak's not even allowed back there. Um, but I've been making him a quilt for well over a year. I'm on the, um, I guess, the actual quilt, quilting part of it now. I know I'm not doing a real quilter justice, but I said I was going to make a quilt, and I'm making a quilt. Fancy high dollar contraction. <laughs> I knew what you meant. <laughs> Okay, gotta love it. Yep. Yeah, but I have all the the fabrics to do other stuff. I think Mimi's picked out some fabrics. She wants um like lounge pants. I've got some skirt and dress patterns. I need to do it. I need to do it. I just Easy realized that I didn't quite have it on its sweet spot. It is there now. Gina, Gina, Gina. It had it had come to pressure though, but it still wasn't quite at its seat sweet spot. It's hard for me to see it. Jeez. Shaking my head. <laughs> How long for you, Gina? I will be. I just put mine on at nine fifty three. So 
once 11 27 is that right 11 27 because it's the hour 30 11 27. Y'all remember that because by the time it's 11, I'm going to be delirious and I'm not going to remember. Miss Felicia got you. I'm like, what time did I say? (laughs) (laughs) Hilarious. So I know that Miss Felicia says she has dropped some seeds already. I need to make a couple of things recently. Nice. Um, that would be the smart thing to do, Miss Felicia. Fine. <laughs> Set a timer, Jean. Timer on my dang on stove. <laughs> Felicia says I need to make a couple of things recently. Brought bought fabric. Same. I need to make some things too. So I got all that fabric. I need to learn how to read a pattern. Miss Felicia. <laughs> she said she said it already. <laughs> oh, she said it. Look, you see how long it was taking me to get it set on this dang on stove. I turned that mug off. I had to keep pushing the button. Uh 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 uh. uh. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Felicia. She said, okay, we can do that. Okay. So I can learn how to read a pattern. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've done a pillow before when I was in what? A pillow in home ec in junior high. We did a sweatshirt and a duffel bag. I did a pillow and I did an apron, like a apron you would wear in the kitchen. Michael said his wife needs a room just for the fabric. And she does. Michael, look up a create room <laughs> for her. She will love it. Yeah. You might not be happy, but she will. <laughs> she's, like, she's already got one. <laughs> Maybe. My mom took sewing classes at the YMCA in the 70s. Wow. Nice. I have too much fabric. Too chest full. Okay, well, I'm not going to complain about having too much fabric. You got to have variety. If the missus is happy, I'm happy. Good job. (laughs) My mom taught sewing classes. Wow. My mom has come over to use my machine to hem her dresses. She's not very tall and she always wants her skirt hemmed and stuff. So mm-hmm. comes right over. I change the thread for her and she goes to town. Yeah. I've never had a sell. So. Used to make most of my clothes. Don't care nothing about clothes. Hilarious. <laughs> yes, that's my ball. It's funny because my mom was really short too. She was like a sneeze of five feet, which is destiny. She's like a sneeze of five feet. I think she claims five one. <laughs> she says I get I get my height from um the women on my dad's side. Yeah. No, she's not. She's not tall. And neither is my sister. My granny. 
you can make your own pattern. Wow. Some people are like that. They can mm -hmm. just see it. Mm -hmm. I can just do it. Yeah. That's my mom. My mom is short and curvy. Curvy. And um, if she can't find what she wants, she used to have a seamstress. I think you guys heard me complain how she used to go to Joanne's and pick out our patterns on that Sunday. But yes. um, if she couldn't find what she wanted, she would just have her seamstress fix it for her. And she still kind of does the same thing now if it's too long or too long in the front and shorter in the back. She mm -hmm. stamps it right on that. She fixes it herself. That's awesome, Michael. I think I've heard of Project Linus. Aww. I don't know why that sounds familiar. That is awesome. It's a good woman. Mike says, wow. Mm -hmm. Now everything has spandex and like in it. Yes. And they better keep it going because I need my leggings. They better keep it going. <laughs> My brain don't work like that. That's what's that being able to just see something and do it. Mm -mm. I say that though, and then I well, no, I can't just look at it and then do it. I need a little more than that. I struggle just coming up with stuff like how people just. You know, like they're painting or something. Just, oh, I'm just going to paint this. And this is what it is. I can't. Like I Angela. Make patterns. Yeah. Yeah. I've watched them. Yeah. Um, I've watched them where they were like, I like this sweater. So I'm going to make another sweater just like it. And they, yeah. I did that. I had a sweater dress. One of the first things that I sold. I had a sweater dress and I tried to duplicate it. That wasn't no dress when I got done with it. It was a shirt. <laughs> My brain works like that with crocheting. Mm -hmm. We're just talking I'm about doing. sewing, Martika. We're talking about sewing. Our pianos are on in the background. Mm hmm. AJ Princess. All my dogs had several outfits due to oh, Indiana coming here. Hey, Indiana Backyard Gardener. I cannot make patterns. I need patterns or a garment to copy. Mm -hmm. AJ Princess. Girl, I got my planner. I haven't thought about you. <laughs> Yes, awesome. I had a note come in the mail today at a uh, market site. Don't you got notebooks just like that? What are you going to do with that? This is different, Marcus. That's why I ship my stuff to my job. They'd be like, why do you get so much stuff here? I don't want it to get stolen from the house. Mind your business. <laughs> then I had to explain. <laughs> hey, David Corey. What, y'all burning up today? David. Don't play us. pillows, bow ties, and clutches. Mm -hmm. I've done pillows, Martika. That's as much as I've done. And that was when I was young. I got all the grandkids a couple years ago, those no sew blankets. And I thought they were going to come. I've cut. done one of those. I thought they were going to come cut so I could just tie them. Mm -hmm. And they didn't come cut. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm not cutting these. So yeah, I that's crazy. Them that's crazy. That's the whole point of them. They're supposed to be cut so you just tie it. It's for a kid. I just went and got the fabric myself. 
Yeah. So, no, I sold them. I sold them two sides together. See. I did those, and then my husband, and then the couple, the shirt I made, then my husband's quilt that I've been making for the last year. David, don't come in here starting stuff. It's going to taste delicious. David. Delicious. You you try to use reverse psychology, so we send you some. I know what you're doing. <laughs> Mm -mm. We doing some beef roast, David. And we didn't get none from you. You could have sent us some beef roast with them cows you got over there. Michael, you could have. You could have sent us some Are y'all processing that beef? My pints will be processed for an hour, fifteen minutes. So I still have. 50 minutes to go. And mine will be going for an hour and 30 minutes. And I still have an hour and roughly 15 minutes left. Oh, okay. With gravy, you can put gravy with it when it when you go to cook it and actually serve it. That's right. Oh, you will all you really gotta do is add a little cornstarch. Because it's it's gonna create a broth while it's canning. Yes. Let it cook down a little bit, add your little slurry, and now you got gravy. And that is exactly why I wanted to do it, because I had opened some beef soup, beef vegetable soup that I had canned. Mm -hmm. I was like, I need some more beef in this. There wasn't a lot of beef in this particular jar. Um, it was like it would have been nice just to have a jar of some beef already ready to go. Now, mm -hmm. I can add. Mm -hmm. Did we add seasoning? Gina um, added salt. I did, mm -hmm. I added nothing. Yeah, I'll I'll um, that leads it to where you, you can season it. However, because sometimes I do um, the Mississippi rolls with the pepperoncinis, the um, au jus, and the ranch. So you could do that, or you could just do a pot roast, a normal pot roast with your gravy and vegetables and whatever. So it gives you options on what you, you know, decide to do. With you could just do a roast with this like and you can do whatever with it later. It's canned up, David. You don't have to season it for the canning process. You're still going to take it out of the jars and make a meal. So you season it thin, yes, with your onions, your peppers, whatever. Yes. Hey, GT. Hey, GT. Nope, no garlic or anything in the jar. I feel like when I put See? stuff in there, it don't it don't taste like it when I open it. So I'm just wasting yeah. it. Oh, I'll and season I it you, once I open it. Yep. And I would say you you can fall into two things possibly happening. Either you don't taste it or you taste it too strongly. Yes, so because sometimes the canning process on certain ingredients can make it more potent mm -hmm. or just give it a completely different taste than what mm -hmm. should be. It will, Indiana. I have done, I can chicken. We, we can chicken. I shouldn't say yeah. I. Yes. We can chicken, and I have used that, and yes, it takes on the flavor. Agreed. Same. Same. Absolutely does. <laughs> you see, David. <laughs> I see that. Ah, he said, "I pulled out my plate. I'm about to go." Thought you were cooking for us. You are fool. I don't need to cook for you all that food you got over there. 115 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. One hour, 15 minutes. I think that's 75 minutes. Yep. And it's cold packed. So you just chop up the meat, put it in there. I didn't chop it up small. I actually kept my pieces pretty big. Mm -hmm. And Same. pack it into your jar. And yeah. It's for future meals. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because like I said, when 
All I have is vegetable soup and I want to make that beef stew or beef soup. And it will take that taste. It, it won't be bland or anything. Yeah. Funny how that it works for that, but not for anything else. Actually, it is not for low, it's not a low budget, first of all. I would tell you that much because Canon, the, the starting of it, you're going to put a little money into it. First you gotta buy of your all, and, stuff, and that and the, your meat ain't cheap, but I will say this, David if ish hit the fan and your power is out and you lose all the food that you got in your freezer because it takes forever for the power to get back on, Mr. Texas. Because you're in a hot state, so your power out, your food is, you try to keep everything closed up so you can have food to eat. But guess what? When After you done went through that, you stuff food that's on the shelf that you can fire up a grill or something outside and be able to make you a meal. Where'd they get these hoes? David, listen. You're so sick of me. I'm, you know what? <laughs> Unicorn lady said facts, and it can't be low budget because if you see something that's on sale or you can get things for in bulk, you can can it. What you getting, baby? Some to drink? Okay. Yep. No. Oh. She had her cloak on. No one saw her. Michael said, been there, lost the freezer full of full once. Yeah, Ugh. I have to. She thought it was some boring. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared of losing my But freezer. I have to. I actually, um, it was in the summertime. And then we had a really bad storm, windstorm, and it knocked power out. And we lost everything in the freezer. We lost our last that. freezer. Um, but it was more of a freezer, like it had died, and that wasn't the first time where we lost all of our food. And after that last time, we were just done with it. So we went well over a year without a heat freezer, out oh, an extra one. We mm -hmm. just got the other one. What mm -hmm. you could see her? She wasn't invisible. She's only invisible. We said something. Mm -hmm. It was like, Ooh, she appeared. Yeah, the manager specials be all right, Indiana. Wait, was that? No. <laughs> they have some ribeyes ones for this. Yep. Yep. Yes, ribeyes ones for this. Yes. She started camping. Exactly. Better get on it, David. Yep. That's what I like about it, Michael. It just gives me another backup. It's this ish hit the thing. Because I do have an upright freezer and then I have two refrigerator freezers. I'm leaning up against the fridge, by the way. Um, and they're all full. And that's my biggest fear is that power will go out and I'll lose everything in them. And I mean, my freezers are full and I will be sick. Same. Same. We went to Costco today and we were looking at things. I was like, we got no more room in the no, freezer. I no, I didn't, David. Look, you might be allowed to see her. You like to see my husband go by. They, they always coming by when, and when if I'm going to be live. In the evening, they act like they have things they need to get in here and do. And she she didn't, I thought she she was good for 12 to 18 months, exactly, mm -hmm. or more. Exactly, mm -hmm. yep. Plus, it it's is. better than frozen processed food when yes. you have the basic facts. All y'all spitting truth. Listen, I um, charger, I we did chicken soup. And I'll take the chicken soup and um, make chicken and noodles with it. I'll just warm up that, cook some um, egg noodles, and add a can of cream of celery or cream of mushroom soup. And we got chicken and noodles. And then make some cornbread, and we got a whole meal. And the only thing I had to really cook was the noodles and the cornbread. I'm about that life. 
When I don't feel cooking, that's where I'm at. Solar generator. I don't have a solar gener generator backup yet, Martika, but I have been looking at them. Absolutely have. One thing is we don't have storms that get that bad typically in my city, but we got hit here lately, not lately, but um, within the last 10 years. No, that's not true. Well, we did get hit with one in the last 10 years. It was in 2019, we got, we actually had a tornado touch down and it wasn't far from where I live at. Actually, right, right when I drive out of my little area, there was so many businesses and been businesses and houses destroyed. I mean, it like it went around me, my little neighbor, my little street. But um, when I was pregnant with my daughter, who just walked in here, she's thirteen. We had one then too, but it didn't touch down. It kind of went over, but the wind of it knocks tower out and knocked down so many trees. We don't have a solar, but we did get a generator this past okay. summer. I've seen people do that though, David. I ain't judging you. I know my brother has done that before from my aunt's house. They had they lived in an apartment and he had a cord that ran from her apartment to his for power. Ghetto, but Hey, you got to do what you got to right, do. Indiana. What? I should have did what you did. What's that? Hook, run the run the power cord. Oh, power run the, now. That didn't that wouldn't have mattered cuz our whole block was out. It yeah. was the whole yeah. block. Pretty much like yeah. It was them, it was the streets over and everything. I didn't have that option. You said that and I pulled out my mail plan. Well, I, I, I listen. I need to know what now y'all know, folks, when it's a will, there's a way. So they if they could find mm -hmm. a way to get it. Yeah. I think it's a must for everybody, Michael. Honestly. That's why it's something I've been looking at. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Martika, where is wow. Martika? Where is that? Where is she? She's, oh, you're in Connecticut. I remember now. I think it was Connecticut. I know you were. I pointed this way because you're above me. <laughs> you're above me. <laughs> And that definitely is unheard of there. Definitely. Now, blizzards, are, is that normal for you, Martika? I would think blizzards probably will be. I had an AC 2000 flu. I'm going to have to look. I've been looking at the Blue Eddy and the, um, because, um, of course, Lit talks about that one a lot. Um, and I was looking at another one too. They expensive though, so I be I'm, yeah. I want to make sure when I get one, I get I'm doing I'm I'm not just you know I'm getting the right one for what I need. That is good. We fair. That's why I said honestly when I think about it. That's why I had to kind of retract Indiana. I'm like, I mean. 14 years ago, roughly, because I was pregnant, so she wasn't even born yet. And then um, we have one, what, five years ago? What, 2019 would be, no, four years. Um, I mean, that's not a lot. And before then, it just was unheard of to have a storm that bad here. David, I don't know if you on the right track for that question. You, David, baking is not my ministry. I love mm -hmm. to cook. I absolutely love to cook. 
But the difference, and I tell people this is why I don't like baking. Baking, you have to follow recipes. I don't like being told what to do with my food. That's with bacon. Everything you ain't bacon. The me. I don't like onions, so I ain't put onions in mine. <laughs> Oh, I thought you was just saying you would go live here. I was about to say, go live, David. You talking about to test our food. Mm -mm. I don't want no, to say she, she makes cookies. Don't say that, Cheryl, because you know David going to get up there and act the food. He tastes testing your food. He is. We already, we, we already know it's all yeah. a setup. Yes, ma'am. It is. It is. Yes. Everywhere. California has snow. And it wasn't even like just, it looked like it had snowed, snowed a little bit. Like it's about an inch, maybe, or a half inch. That's right, Indiana. Nice try, David. <laughs> mm -mm. I turned it down. It still seemed like it's rocking too, too much. I'm going to turn it down again. Thank you. I'm going to turn mine down again, too. Put mine on four. I do cakes. Pies, Mine's on four now. And cook as well. I didn't... My great... Um, my mom, too. My mom, my great aunt, all them, they did both. Oh, wow. I, don't, I like being able to get in the kitchen and do what I do. And then, voila. I'm done. We we done with you, David. David, you see my cup? I made it myself. Miss Cheryl did not, you, did not feed it like... to him. Don't hype him up, y'all. <laughs> what um, kind of can? Presto. I have um, two of them. This is what, 28 quart? What is this one? Let's see. Yeah. My small one is 16, I think. Another one is maybe 23 quart. Oh, yeah. That's this is a 16. I'm using my 16. You're right. And the other one is 23. It's slowed down. You hear it now? It's slowed down a lot. What's that? Is that my refrigerator? Mm -mm. I will. I'm. I'm not gonna act like I won't bake anything. Of course, you just saw a short I did recently where I did a pound cake. I don't know what got up in me to do that because, and that was from scratch. Um, I want to try bread. I haven't made bread yet, but I have done pizza dough. Um, I've done cookies from scratch. <laughs> Never done a pie. I mean, I made pies, but not from scratch. I do a sweet potato, and that's because I don't like fruit. I don't like hot fruit. Mm -hmm. Yep, Presto 16. It'll get the job done. If you're looking to get one, Martika, that'll get the job done. Mm -hmm. Indiana says, and Miro is another popular brand. It is. I've heard of that one, too. Um, the, the 16 has a weight, the 23 has both. And then new gasket. You can check your hardware store. I'd like to go check those out first. I guess because I have one just right by me. Um, and they have a lot of those extra parts, but I mean, if they don't have it online. I got it at Amazon. I got it um a weight because my my um my twenty the twenty three comes with comes with this kind of weight and you can't adjust it. This is ten. 
I think. 15. Yeah. Oh, 15. Mm -hmm. And so you can adjust it, but it has a gauge as well. And it comes with this. So I had and that's ordered. that's actually mine. That one that's on there came with the gauge, but I'm not using the gauge on it. Yes. Yes. So I, um, I had ordered because I, I had the 23 first before I got the 16. So I had ordered the gauge to go with it. And this is the one, the weight, I mean, That's to go with it. And you can take it off based on what you need for your altitude. Um, see, I was going to say elevation for your altitude. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but the, the 16 comes with, with this one. I think the 16 is weighted or gauged, but the 23 is is the gauged one. Like, I have not it's seen gauged. the 23 in a weight. Because mine, I had, mine came with this. And the gauge. Well, they My call person. that a regulator. They don't it call is that called a regulator. Weight. You're right. You're right. I mean, like, it is. the adjustable 5, 10, 15 Correct. weight. You are right. Yep, they did call that a regulator. This is why I want the weight too. I prefer the weight. I do too. <laughs> you need the jar, um, the lifter, the things. I don't know what it's called. The thing that you use to lift the jars out of the canner. Jar grabber. Yeah. Was no, so you'll need this to be able to pull your jars out. And it is also for putting your jars in when you're doing hot jars. Um, uh, what else? The, the, um, the funnel to fill your jars. Get it. It's a kit. They have a ball yes, kit. Just get the, the kit. Yeah. Hold on. But it's I think got the funnel, the grabber. It's got the metallic um, or the yeah. metal magnet thing. And then it's got your um, headspace measure, which is also the um, debubbler tool. But yeah, they're really going to, Martika, they're really going to start having stuff on sale probably starting this month till spring and then on spring when people start in their gardens and stuff like that is when it's going to start to be a little bit harder to find so mm -hmm. you want to look for your canning stuff now and i mean the hardware hey, stores the big box stores mm -hmm. the um and ball um, has one walmart has it <laughs> everywhere. Mm -hmm. I thought I had an extra one, but I think I gave it away. I think I had a giveaway, and that was one of the prizes. Fifty bucks is a good deal. Fifty bucks for what? The canner? She got a canner for fifty bucks? Can you go Mm-hmm. Nice. What a pandemic. Nice. That is a good deal. Michelle, don't hide his head up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Baby, I can cook, is what she said. <laughs> Look. Make sure all that food that David be growing over there, you do a that's a barter right there. <laughs> Go ahead and give me some of greens and watermelon and peppers and tomatoes. So and I might let you see has some. Both. Okay. What's that? The 16 ounce presto has both the weighted and the gauge. And that's also what um Unicorn Lady said. 
Mine didn't. I think you said you can find it in both. Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm looking at mine like, am I losing it? I don't have a gauge on this one. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. How you doing? You changed your picture too. <laughs> Yeah, mine does too, Miss Cheryl. My 23 has both. It's a good deal. You know, we need to be over there, Kenny. On the low, so we don't know what we could come to your house to get some goods. That's the sound it's supposed to make, David. <laughs> what, the canner? Yeah, that's the weight rocking. She said she lost it. <laughs> when I had when I gave away the um ball the ball set. No, you're right. You're right about that. And Miss Cheryl says her 23 has the weight and the gauge. I yeah, looked for 23 in the weight. Maybe I wasn't being patient. I'm not very patient. Well, mine had the regulator, but I did swap it out for the weight. No, no gauge. Notification, so that's an important job, Sean. Filling the jars and wiping the rims is an important job, very important. Uh oh, I might need to turn mine up. My um, it's done got to the point it stopped rocking. There we go. That's Alexa, but this is my refrigerator's right here, so. Alexa on my refrigerator now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can escape robot. Do I have a water dispenser on the fridge? Yes, I do. But um, I know Marcus changed the filter. It's not the thing is it's not saying anything. I have the um, family hub and. and there's no notification. So you're just beeping at me, but there's no notification. It is, David. That's a very important job. It really is. You so are needed. They don't get wiped down. That's very important. Oh, maybe the ah, it could be. be. But like the water, because we were just talking about that today. Oh no, I don't ever remember it making that noise before. Yeah, I was gonna say mine doesn't mm -hmm. make a noise, but it does. <laughs> it does show up on the the thing. It says filter replace filter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a mess. Listen. No, sir. No. Joking, but I'll be like, the way this, this digital stuff is going, we're going to be, uh, what's that movie? I robot in it. Mm -hmm. 
we're going to be looking for Will Smith to save us. Me. Make sure all that's this new stuff. And once you once you have to get something replaced, you gotta buy these things. And they all do it. We'll say we got ours on Black Friday and got a good deal. Now this was years ago. We've had this for a while, for a long while. Yeah. I've had mine for um, going on two years, and I got it on a deal. I, it wasn't Black Friday though. It was like um, it was in the summer, going into the fall. So like maybe Labor Day. It is. He said, "You lying?" <laughs> Did I just get pizza? Yeah, that's that head up. This brace about to come out late. <laughs> Metal overload. Bite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Better than a movie on Netflix like I will buy. Right. Although I like that movie, but still. I've never heard of that movie better than us. Oh, I haven't either. I have to... um. I like iRobot. I do like iRobot. I do. And they do think they better than us. I don't have Alexa either, Felicia. Yep. Same. Same mm -hmm. Indiana. Mine was 12. And that was yep. on sale. Mm hmm. Yeah. I know that's right. And that was a deal compared to what was out there. Because I know people who pay like four grand for them. I'm like, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You will not. The one I was replacing probably cost me half of that, like twelve six hundred. When I bought it, five or six hundred dollars. <laughs> now the song is in my head, David. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, madam. A series, even better. I like binge watching series, even better. Mm -hmm. You at this point though, even if Alexa, because I don't have one, but it's not because I'm worried about it hearing me. This thing right here is doing mm -hmm. it. Hey, for all I know, the laptop that I'm streaming on is doing it. Mm hmm. There's really no way around it unless you just have nothing in your house that's made after a certain year. Like David, who's practically all three it. Dash bonus for bonus. Wow. Nice bonus. PT says you can't. Oh, she, she was saying that Alexa can't come to his mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wouldn't bother me. You, you practically. I don't think you had. Do you have because I I didn't think you had certain electronics up in up in your home. Yep. That's right, Martika. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. I could buy five, six TVs for the price I paid for this refrigerator. <laughs> wow. That was mine. Actually, that's a lie. It didn't die. It's actually in the basement. But I had changed out all the appliances. So, honestly, it was me. Ah! A <laughs> unicorn lady says, stop saying her name. Did, did we you wake right? her up? Did she You're say, right. I'm going to help you today? 
Yep, they did. It's so expensive. Yep. Yes, they did. Now you can get 80 Miss inches for like $300. <laughs> Miss Felicia, are you still in the in the room? Did um did you make any other cups or anything? Twenty five years, nice. It is. They don't make the stuff like they used to. My dryer that I had was probably twenty years old before it finally died. We and, had um, a new washer dryer set. We had Samsung everything. And the dryer started going out after like um I think the first time it went out was like three years. And we got the heating element replaced. Mm -hmm. And almost a year to the date later, it started doing the same thing. So I called the guy. And that was this past spring, last spring. And um, first of all, he did say there was a lot of dog hair in it because of Kodak, of course. Um, but it was the heating element again. And he was like, they just don't make the newer dryers like that. He's like, if you have to get a new one, um, you know, get old, got old, a whirlpool, yeah. something like that. that Moopack, whirlpool. And that is exactly yeah. what we got. I think we got, I don't remember what it is, yeah. but we replaced it. It's all mm -hmm. it's not digital. I don't know what's going on. I just hit start. Yeah. And it dropped. is only good for phones and TVs. Mm -hmm. They, they should have never ventured into appliances. All their appliances get bad ratings. And we have had to replace so many of our Samsung. <laughs> they said you're washing the dog in the washer. Yes. Where else are you supposed to throw them? Does anyone else line up the jar lid? With the face. No, I know what you're talking about, but no, I don't do that. Mm-mm. Know what I mean? I know what you're talking about. I don't either. <laughs> I know some I people are particular with that stuff, that, but that, I'm not. I, mm, mm. I have cups we gonna, to make, We're going to have to get some going, Felicia. Get those cups made. We're going to have to get some more. I'm going to order some more. Some more. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm the same. My car is a 2012. Please don't go bad. Don't dial me mm -hmm. anytime. <laughs> Too much dog hair, you know what's going on. Yep. David, I have a husky. And I have another little dog, but he doesn't share. But I have a husky. And actually, this past week, his winter coat is starting to come in. Mm -hmm. Oh, back. I just vacuumed. Ten minutes ago, and now the floor is already covered. Mm -hmm. I told her my um lab labs are short hair. I had a black lab. She shed a lot, but even mm -hmm. after she passed, I was finding hair years, still years later, and it wasn't like I wasn't cleaning. I will find them in yes. places that there's no way it should be there because she's gone. Mm -hmm. But I think. It's it gets in your vents and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and so it it'll blow out it like when you turn on the heat and stuff like that. And it's like it does. I, I, I have come to the pet store, and the lady was like, "Oh, I used to have a white husky, and you know she's been gone for years and years, and he reminds me of her." And she was like, "You will find dog hair long after he's gone." Yeah. And I'm like, "I believe you. It's true." It was everywhere. Oh. It just everywhere. No, David. He's a family member. They are. Both, you're right. Both of those are. I agree. I would never buy LG either. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, we, like I said, we've had all the Samsung's. Knock on wood, this refrigerator and has not given us any issues, but all the other Samsung appliances have had to be replaced. Our dishwasher yeah. 
not working. Everything. My appliances are mismatched. I have Bosch dishwasher, Whirlpool fridge, and they're all the same colors. They're all stainless steel, but they don't, they're not the same brand. I don't even know what is this. Miss Felicia says her label face forward. I don't pay Mine attention. Don't. Mine don't. Mine go which every way. That was my baby. Mm -hmm. That part. That part. I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. I, I like the, I, those, they're easier to fix too and they're less costly. I'm not going to say okay. you're crazy, Michael, but nope, I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It, hey. It's what you like. You can't do anything. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no, my dog. No, sir. I wish, see, he's not allowed in the kitchen, but I wish you could see him because he has his sweater on. Stay he down here, sleep. I, I agree, Indiana. No, I feel sure like I'm gonna have an outside, a full time outside dog. That ain't that's not like I don't do that. I don't either. Mm -mm. I, my dog was a house dog as well. Yeah. Place my car before my truck. I believe it. Right, unicorn lady. Our pets are our family members. They are our children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's true. Now that, that hey, pets. <laughs> All of them don't. Wow. wow, that's awesome. I've had to replace mine a couple times. I mean, a couple, seriously. Do you, boo? I love that. I love that. <laughs> no, look, we um, have my mom's garage door code. Not try to not let us in. I, yeah. <laughs> I called you. you. I called you and you didn't answer. You good? Okay, bye. <laughs> but bye. you know what? She don't have time for it, Michael, but you do, so don't worry about it. Because <laughs> you're doing it anyway. She ain't got to have time for it. Yeah, they got a dog with a sweater on it. No, ma'am. Come here. Come here. <laughs> hey, Philip. <laughs> I think Mimi just came home, so he woke up. See? He heard her. I thought I heard the car too. You a mess. There is a dog on Instagram. Is what is her name? Saint Sadie or something like that. Who they be dressing up in clothes and accessories and everything. She might have a bonnet on from time to time. There are whole... a lot of dogs that get dressed up, and I'm here for them all. They crack me up. <laughs> mm -hmm. My dogs are boys. They don't wear bonnets. They are boys. Bell sitting right here supervising. I know that's right. 
Belle ain't gonna leave her mama. Mm -mm. David's response. Matt. So does Kodak. Kodak loves to um code, which is yeah. who I call Philip, by the way. That's Kodak. <laughs> she said, uh, hey Philip B. Yeah, that's, that's Kodak <laughs> Philip Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> we got these sweaters because y'all know Chewy is old. Chewy is old 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 and he was always cold so we we got the sweater from him where he started wearing the sweater and then when kodak came around they had matching sweaters so i mean what Felicia, you are he do? absolutely does he hates it his mama i gotta get a video of him because we pour, i'm like come here come here and he running he ducking <laughs> He hates it. <laughs> I feel like Philip, she done made you put them clothes on again. <laughs> but he looks so handsome. Him and Chewy with their little matching outfit. God. <laughs> Um, I'll have you know that Chewy is a Shih Tzu, so if you know anything about Shih Tzus, their hair gets very, very long. And if I cannot get him into the groomer and it starts getting so long to where he can't see, we will pull it up and pull it out of his face. I don't cut it because then when I cut it, it messes with his groom. And she's got to like cut shorter or something to fix what I tried to cut. So yeah. Yes, David. Yes. Don't get her started, David. <laughs> Talk about I'm her children. Right. <laughs> he do. But I He's said, like, man, no. <laughs> I need to rescue him. All right. I got eight left on mine. <laughs> you can take them. Oh, I'm thank glad you, we ladies, can help with that, Michael. Tonight to help. I know how that thank could you be. Thank for sometimes. stopping by, Michael. We appreciate you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just need that that break. Yeah. That break. There's something that don't. Yep. Thank you. I know. What, I know how that is. Mm -hmm. Oh, have mercy. And what, David? Unicorn Lady is here for it. And what? <laughs> yes. We came to a place of peace. Thanks, GT. together <laughs> They are so good at that, Michael. Thank you, Unicorn Lady. Good night, Michael, everybody says. Good night, Michael. All right. And next week, Gina, did you figure out what you're going to can next week? I th I thought I did, but now I'm not sure because I might clean it up during the week because I want some now. I was going to do salsa because I need more salsa. Ooh. But I think I'm going to can it up during the week. Um, I have to think about it. Do you have a salsa video? Mm -mm, that's why I was thinking I was going to do it yeah. during the week. Plus, because I wanted it sooner, but it's going to be easy because I have peppers that I had. Um, everything that I'm using for my sauces from the garden, I just froze it. 
but I had peppers that I had already, um, my hot mm -hmm. ones that I had already um, pulverized mm -hmm. to go into my salsa. Um, and then I got tomatoes in the freezer downstairs. So, mm -hmm. so you got yeah. everything you need. You just need to pull it all out. Mm -hmm. And throw it in the pot, let it let it marry together for a little bit and dry it up. Mm -hmm. But I need some. I just bought me some uh they're in the cat, they're in my pantry. But I just bought some tortilla chips today because I love salsa and chips. And GT, I just thought about this. I don't think you were here, but um um I know you you're interested in canning on a Sunday. So um, I asked Gina if she had your email. My email is in my about. But yeah, we can definitely do that and plan to do something like a jelly. It won't take long and you don't need to buy any extra equipment or anything. But we can definitely get, get that done. It is relaxing, isn't it, Mike? David knows it's relaxing. It's just like hearing rain falling. It's just the, repeti the repetitiveness of the sound. Okay, he said that. How can you relax with um, all that noise? <laughs> it's soothing to me, David. It is. Um, it might be. He said yes. Okay. Um, sounds good. I got time next Sunday. Next month Sunday. Okay. Hey, no problem. Made that up. And smells good. Yep. Yep. Yes. What's funny is I wonder if because I'm I haven't. I don't, I don't, I haven't eaten meat in so long. It's not as pronounced as it was when I was eating it. Because I can smell it. It does smell good, but it's not like, I still have no interest in having it for myself. <laughs> She's talking about some You can smell it. It's got food it's cooking in them jars. Unicorn, a couple days ago, I was having a bad day. What came to mind is the forehead conversation. <laughs> yeah, Lydia would be here, but she is on vacation living her best life right now. But yes, the five head, the four head, five head, I'm two head. I was like, yeah, I can't. I think I was a three or a two. I, I don't know. She had us all here measuring our foreheads. She had measuring <laughs> Oh, he likes beef, Cheryl. He likes beef. His family be raising cows. So y'all, Gina is yeah. also on vacation and um, we we're trying to talk her into doing some pop-up live. So, I be on her, the I her her. Hey, Mona. Hey, Mona. I, I may. I, I'm, I'm going to try to, at least a couple or so. Go for it. Do it. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm just letting this week, wherever the wind blows me, wherever the wind blows. But actually, I do think I'm going to do at least one pop-up because, um, I, I, 
because I've been planning so much with my garden, I do want to do like a little garden chat. So that'll be coming. I'm working on it. I appreciate any all all you guys who have been running my playlist though, because I can tell it's been being is has been being ran. I mean, my numbers have jumped significantly. Um, so I absolutely appreciate that. I'm getting really close. I'm less than 500 hours away from hitting my watch hours. So thank you guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I we appreciate you. We got you. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Felicia. I just took it off. You hear Gina. Mm hmm. I will. I can do that, Martika. I have to do that to Tia and Lydia, too. Because we get and busy. I they do it for I me, too. I never said anything, but congratulations, Mona and Mike. Y'all got y'all subscribers. Um, Mike, yeah. you need a, um, a all of your videos playlist. And we can watch all of your videos. And on one thing. And I saw Mona's got her, so I got you. Mona. Maybe your problem is you don't make videos, but they changed the rules. The shorts are supposed to start counting. They were supposed to start counting this year. Shorts, yep. You be hitting them short. So them numbers about to jump. Mm -hmm. Y'all, David be he be dropping some good shorts, but I'd be like, mm -hmm. I need more. I need to see more because them shorts. Listen, he be harvesting. I hope y'all following David. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, he be harvesting. His his garden produces. And he has some videos, too. I'm just giving him crap. But he mostly does shorts, guys. <laughs> but this year... They that so I'm sure it's gonna be counting David yeah they say it's supposed to count this year they gonna be counting and this is our slow season for everybody except for Mike who's super growing who's growing indoors <laughs> Yeah. Mike, were you the one that was talking about Johnny's selected seeds where you get your pepper varieties from? Hmm. I got a catalog from them and I'm like, I don't I don't remember where they came from. And I thought it was you. I guess we can just look and see if they got any pepper varieties. And that answer the question. Say no. Just, just know, David. Just, just know. Just know. I got that from you. Why get a new channel and do it? Why not do it on the garden uh -uh. channel? Why not harvest it? Channel. Uh -uh. Why not harvest it? <laughs> David said Johnny sees is good. Johnny sees is good. Okay, I'm looking at him now. I just don't know where they came he from. Said it wasn't him. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's indoors. This and stuff. Mine is doing. I have three plants growing. I know I have some romaine, and I know one is a peach rush pepper plant. I can't remember what the third one is. Mine back there. But only one. All that other stuff didn't come up. Well, hold on. Mine don't look like that. <laughs> the one I planted. I like no, I need to redo everything in there. And that one, like we've picked off of that about four or five times now, and it just oh, for that you harvested a couple times on that. Mm -hmm. That that one is doing great, and I think that's just the butter crunch. I only plan on buying one seed, Indiana. 
because I don't have it. I've never grown it before, but for some reason, I sparked the interest in wanting to Not grow it. Not everything else you need. I saw it being pickled, and I was like, that looks delicious, and it's okra. So, unless there's somebody in here who's like, girl, I got okra seeds. I could send you those. I would gladly take some okra seeds. <laughs> I got some, but... I don't know them. I don't know where my seeds are. They would come out the bushes for sure, David. Hi. Hi. Yes. what? What I miss? It's a manual. You starting your what, David? I'm like, we're all in the front because they got brighter than my high beams are on. Well, you tell Marcus that because on automatic, all the lights should be on already. And we just got the oil changed and they checked the lights. So it wasn't like they've gone out or anything. You tell him. You know, he in room. That's his. Indiana, do I need to email you? Also, I don't know what the what is considered like the best okra. I see a lot of people do this. Is it called Clemson Spine or something like that? And then I've seen the Burgundy one. I don't know what. I can tell you I don't eat okra. But I want to try it. That's the, That'll probably be the one plant that I will grow this year that I know that I already, that I don't already know if I like it. Clemson Spine with that. Thank you, Miss Cheryl. Mm -hmm. Listen, I know what it was. I know there's something like that in the green. I have red burgundy. I've heard people talk about that one. You can grow lots of stuff from store-bought veggies. I don't, I don't, I know you can, because I have. But I, I, I want to really grow up some seed. I have like four types. Wow. Yeah, that's the only thing that I want to grow that I don't have. Other than that, I won't be buying any seeds. I have crazy amounts of pepper seeds, crazy amounts of tomato seeds, all kind of varieties. Um, this year, my hot peppers I'm going to grow is the peach, the habanero, jalapeno, Tabasco, and chili. I think that's all of them. Have the hot. And then I'm going to do all the colors of the bales. All the colors of the bales? <laughs> yep. The purple, the green, the yellow, the orange, the red. I made some, um, I made my husband a stir fry today with the purple. Because all I do is, like, I cut up a bunch of them. And I stick them in my freezer and um, freezer bags. And then when I cook, I can just pull some out. I put it in here somewhere. And I can just pull it out and throw it in a dish. But the purple ones are pretty. Oh, well. I don't see them right off and I don't feel like moving to open up my freezer more. But that's what I do with my onions and my peppers. I slice them or I'll dice them. I do both. And I put them in baggies so I can have them for dishes to throw them in. GT says, Mike, I got you. What, what, what do you mean? I did that last year, but I'm gonna do it again this year, Indiana. More more peppers. I need I like I love cooking with them. Now the hot ones I'm gonna play with because I want the Tabasco because I want to make my own hot sauce with Tabasco peppers. Um but um 
yeah, I like the peppers. The bells, I love having lots of those. I put them in my sauce. I did make my own pasta sauce. I put it in, um, come on, all these dang old emails want to be popping up. I put them in my uh, salsa with the hot. I put in a lot of stuff. And then I cook with them. I would be interested. What do you need? Okra for what do you need? <laughs> if I have it. I have a lot of seeds, though. Why I have a lot that? of seeds. I would be interested. Glacier? I don't have no. cucumelon. I have... Is it the lemon cucumbers? Is that what I grew this year? Do you remember? I think I had the lemon cucumbers. I think I remember. Which are I think you made videos cold. about how cold it is. Is everybody doing videos about how cold it is? We're all cold. Is that what it's cold? I have the patty pan. But I don't have cucumelons. You have cucumelons, Miss Felicia? I have the lemon ones. Okay, she already has that one. Is that the only thing you're looking for? I don't have the green apple, but I heard those are good too. I didn't do that. What's Peter Pan? Peter or what's the Peter Pan? Okay. I is am that what Mike was looking for. Uh, oh, is that a hot pepper? I'm sure it is. Um, I am going to try to get a harvest in of the delicata squash this year. I planted it late last year. So it didn't it didn't really take off. I need to put that on my meal plan because you know I got all that delicata squash out in the garage and I need to eat it. She don't have night bod, that's why we're gonna get her set up. David said, Why you ain't got weather on your channel? Night bot does weather. Bot. Yep. You could type in your city and state and it'll tell you what the weather is. Oh you say weather. Oh. Weather and Indiana, weather in Dayton, I mean Ohio, weather in Texas. Yeah. Let me know. I'm going to be looking out for that, Indiana, if you do, if you do a C-swap. I'll be looking out for it. Because I, I tell other people that all the time. I'm like, before you go, I get it that you don't want to ask people for seeds, but a lot of us have a lot of certain seeds. And if you could just put it out there. I, I know last year, Juicin with Jay just put a list of seeds that he would like on his community tab, on his community page. And he was like, if anybody would, wants to send them to me, just. And people be like, sure. And they'll send it. I sent him like three or four of them that was on his list. I was like, I got those. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to put them on. Any peppers? Uh, you mean, oh, so you don't have any peppers? Indiana? My Boris got my um my uh zucchini last year. My regular uh zucchini. The green one. Yeah. But I can send you some pepper seeds. Um yeah. Yep. 
Gina, when's your time up? Oh, uh, eight minutes, seven minutes, eight. seven minutes. I thought it was up at 15. Confirm, please, Miss Felicia. Didn't I say 1127? That's a lie. If I said 11.27, then I have... I didn't say 11.27. What time did I... Miss Felicia got it. I told y'all this was going to be what was going to happen. Miss Felicia says she set her timer. You're going to wait for that timer to go she off. Did. She did say that. 11.27. Look at Miss Cheryl. I have uh, 12 minutes. Miss Felicia and Miss Cheryl, like we can't go to bed because ain't nobody gonna know what time they they timers gonna start. Stop. You don't want peach, then Indiana. It's really hot. The peach ones are really hot. I want it. I want it. Um, you want peach? The the um. Okay, when you say mildly hot, it, what is a habanero to you? Because peach is. Habanero to me is hot, but I like them. Um, I use them in my sauces a lot. But to me, a mildly hot would probably be a jalapeno. I think anything beyond mm -hmm. a jalapeno is too hot. I mean, it's hotter because everything else is hotter than the jalapenos. The uh, serranos, the... Well, not everything, but there's a lot of them that are hotter than that that I grow anyway. I mm -hmm. can make a hot sauce with peach. Yes, you could. You want to just try them, and then you could you could just like you know see if you just grow like a plant. Because this year I'm only growing one of all of my pepper plants because my peppers were so prolific. I had too many pepper plants. I was just getting way too many peppers. I was doing everything you could think of with them. I dried them. I did salsas. I put them in jellies. I pickled them. I candied them. I was doing all kinds. I was like, you made pepper I sauce. Had, and I, and I, I made pepper sauce. I was like, I gotta find more. And I still had so many peppers. I froze them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just froze them. I ain't even bad enough to go ghost pepper, David. I be thinking about it, but I'm like, do I really want to grow something that's that hot? So Miss Cheryl said 1127, and Miss Felicia said you said 1137, right? I can tell you it wasn't 1137. It was 1120 something. 27? Mm hmm. It was 20 something. Because um, I, I started. Like 10 minutes after you, but I was going for 15 minutes longer than you. So I had like 20 something minutes longer That's than you. That's why I thought like 15 mm -hmm. minutes. Okay. Got mm -hmm. Okay. I got it. Got it. I wrote it down when you said it, Miss Cheryl said. Okay. Thank you. Nan says, so like cayenne level? I think cayenne level would be a good level for you, especially even for a hot sauce. I went that to like cayenne is hot. So let me see a cayenne. I don't blanch mine, Miss Unicorn Lady, but I don't know if you have to. I just don't. Blanche or what? Peppers? No. I don't. All right. So let's see. Those are the hot ones. Cayenne is... Cayenne is good for the body and that's very true, David. And it's, it's just a little hotter than a jalapeno. <laughs> The Hungarian wax is a little hot, just one higher than um, jalapeno. I did not think my Hungarian wax was hot at all. 
That's because we like hot stuff, Tia. Okay, then. Because I was like, I'm not growing that again. Um, the um, Tabasco is actually milder than the um, jalapeno. What are you laughing because you just saw her walk through? <laughs> I didn't see anybody. I didn't see. The ghost of Christmas pass. Can you get in there? Trying to get in the fridge. Um, so, heat levels. Cayenne is 50,000 on the Scoville. Jalapeno is 5,000. But a habanero is 150,000. Where's that? I, I like habaneros. The, the peach one is not on this particular list. Let me just Google what the peach one is. Scoville, I think it's in 400, so. Felicia said, Gina, somebody in your house. I know, right? <laughs> oh no, it's not. The, you might not. It might not be that bad. No blanching. No blanching required. No. Um, it might not be that bad, Indiana. It's saying it's only. See, it's not even as hot as a habanero. The person who sent it to me. I'm going to put them on blast. It was Broke Farmer who said it was so hot. It says it's 50,000 to 100,000 on the stove bill. That ain't, that ain't even as hot as a habanero. It's hotter than a jalapeno, though. Where where does do Thai, the Thai chilies fall in on that? Um, Hold on. It is. Why is that come up? Hold on. All right. Um, between <clears throat> excuse me, between fifty thousand four hundred, so the same as the piece. Okay. Okay. Miss Felicia says five minutes. I'm looking for a harvest right. Machine looks pretty good. I I I I I think I'm. I think I I think I get what you're saying, and I'm just gonna go fast. I'm I'm just gonna it's just gonna fast. Mhm. Mm we made a peach salsa. Um. And that probably, I was thinking for next year, um, making it with the peach peppers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that or even like the peach barbecue good. sauce. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So in my house, I'm the one who mostly eats the hot stuff. My daughter eats nothing hot. She doesn't like spicy at all. My husband will eat it every good morning. Mm -hmm. I pretty much like to spice up most of my meals. I, I, I have the edible. Spice. I don't just fire, but I like the spice. And then they fuss at me and say, not everything has to be hot, mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some peach butter. Is that what I made? Did I, make, I made peach butter. Yes, I, I like did. peach butter. Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were eating. Like I said, they've been eating breakfast, and he was saying something in there with peach. And I was like, the size of the jar, I was like, well, that wasn't the marmalade. I don't you be forgetting. Was. I be forgetting what I made, too. My mother-in-law sent my jars back because I gave her, like, three different jellies. None of the ones with the peppers are just jellies. Mm -hmm. And she's like... 
I, I sent them back so you could bring, send me some more. And I was like, I don't remember what kind I made. What kind of jelly did I give you? <laughs> I didn't remember what I was like. That Okay, he said that was it, but I don't think that was it. And then when she said peach butter, I was like, it's probably the peach butter they've been eating. <laughs> I never had Redmond's, um, David. I never heard of it. It's yeah, probably, it might be a Texas thing. Mm -mm. Redmond's I'm about to go. It might be a Texas thing. Yeah, y'all probably can't hear it over this. My daughter mm -hmm. is so loud. Was that Friday when you went live? And then as soon as you got done with your live, that's when she really let out that was Yeah. She was she was, she was like, she was loud. So she, so she did something like, oh, and then she was like, welcome to. <laughs> I was like, I don't know where she's watching or where she's doing, but. <laughs> Oh, Azure. Azure has it. Um, salt made with minerals in it. I will look it up, David. I haven't heard of it. You can get it on Amazon. I looked it up. Sure. I've never heard of it or seen it or anything. I will be doing a sea spot then. We did that Azure order. I wish I would have known about it back then. Seas in order by priority. I feel the stuff is dressed up at all. Alrighty. All right, okay. And there's the other puppy back there. That's Chew the old man. Look at him. Chewy. He, uh, he, somebody done woke you up. Who woke you up? Okay, Indiana, that sounds good. Time, Miss Felicia said. Oh, and I missed that. Yes, it and is. My, my thing just dropped. So I'm getting up to. Hold on, y'all. I gotta move it off of this eye. I think Jihad had some. They also make great electrolytes. Okay. What do you do with it, David? Mm -hmm. Over, keep talking. <laughs> what do you do with the red mess? What do you do with it? I'm going to have to go and um, plug in while this thing is doing what it has to do because... That's why I had to plug mine up too. My battery. My, right. my charger is in my office. Hold on. Yeah, yeah somebody done woke that old man up. Uh, probably Mimi when she came home instead of letting him sleep. Now he's going to be up because he think it's morning. It's morning. <laughs> Eat it. No, David, it's not for eating. This is going to go on the shelf. Eat what? Oh, the food. The food. Eat yeah. Oh, the salt? You mean the, the salt? Oh. <laughs> he said, but do you just put it on your food or do you do like a, a water? He situation? said, put it on your foods. It's not like Morton sauce. It's not More like on my sauce. people. Way better, he says. Okay. All right. Let me plug this in before y'all be looking at a blank screen. My laptop don't get don't hold no charge. 
when I be streaming. I thought I was going to be okay because it was fully yeah, charged. Why but that no. Because I pushed it back. All right. <sighs> I'm going to let mine continue to cool down a little bit before I take them out the canner. So yeah, I went and got another one of these. This I one is so it. good. This pineapple guava one. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so good. I was thinking about some kombucha today. I bought three of them. They got them on sale at Kroger for $1.99. Okay. All right, I got to go to Kroger. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm, it's been a while since I had some kombucha. I'm having mm -hmm. this one. That's when I got. I saw that it was it was on sale. I was like, I think I'll grab a few. I should have just got all pineapple guava. Mm -hmm. like it. It's my favorite, I think. Mm -hmm. I still like that cranberry, but I'm willing to try the pineapple guava. Mm -hmm. It's good. I'm paying you an atten some attention. I was trying to catch up. <laughs> oh, I don't use Morton's. Put it on your foods. It's not like Morton. I don't use Morton anyway. Um, but I could try it. I use um pink salt pretty much on everything. Miss Felicia says it's real salt. Hmm. Ain't it though, David? I love pineapple. I've never actually had a guava, but so I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. I'm with you, India, and all I use is pink. I don't um, use the pink. You don't I have pink, pink and never. I don't. I feel like I'm. I don't taste it, but I like salt. So yeah. Yeah, I just use the pink. I've been using pink for a few years now. I've used sea salt before, too. That's why I was like mostly, but I haven't used sea salt. And probably for the last two years, it's been all pink. <clears throat> I use Morton's for killing snails or slugs. When I catch them in my garden, that's what that salt is for. You leaving? Why? It's cold. Can you let Bean out? I'll let Kodak out. Is this waterproof? Is that why it looks like this? I feel like this. Well, yeah. Hey, Mimi. <laughs> Shoot. Dang it. And then we put him in front of the heater so he can go to bed. You know, I try to do that to him all the time. He might stay there. It's late for him. <laughs> the hand. <laughs> come here, Kodak. That's why our kids come in. They come in like ghosts. <laughs> You get a hand or you get a, a child with a blanket over them trying not to be seen. You know, we'll be seen. <sighs> What's dyed? The pink? You see style football pink recently. Are you saying the pink is dyed? Himalayan salt's not truly Himalayan. What do you want? Really? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Don't let Clark out. <sighs> Hilarious. You gotta put him in front of the heater so he can go to bed. He's just gonna be pacing the kitchen. He thinks it's breakfast. Choo choo. Be 
<laughs> okay, go. Why would you make it? There's beef in there. Mm -hmm. I can't look sad. I wow. Meat. If you can't meet now? I always could can meet, Mimi. I did not say I couldn't. The monsters and the hand whoops. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. She did. Chewy is old, David. He be cold all the time. So yeah, he he oh. just in front of the heater. You know how you get old, you like lose your senses and touch and everything. He he will shiver. He is so cold. And um, we have a heater and he gets right by the heater and we move the heater and he goes, he goes to it. He follows the heater. So he's pacing the house like he thinks it's morning and it's time for breakfast. So I'm hoping that she puts him by the heater and he stays by the heater. That way he's not pacing. Cause he just gets in the way. Yeah, Ning was stabbed in Wednesday. And that's the Netflix series. Netflix. I was wondering, um, because I've been hearing a lot about that. I have too. I've been hearing a lot of people saying it's good. Mm hmm. I haven't seen it yet though. Not yet. I'm, take my I'm not the only person in more than one stream I see. I see y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to check it out. I heard it was good, Indiana. Look at that. Look at that, David. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I will tell you, the meat be so tender. Mm-hmm. Because it's cooked in its own juices. There was no juice in those jars when we put them no, in there. There was just pecked meat. I, that's mm -hmm. right. David wasn't here in the very beginning, but um, and Indiana wasn't here. But yes, we just, it was no liquid at all. It was just the meat. You pack it in. And I added a teaspoon of salt to mine. I don't think Tia added anything to hers, and we uh -huh. just put the the lids and stuff on them and stuck them into the the um, canner. <laughs> it does not, David. You're so silly. It's still cooking. It's gonna cook for hours. Oh no, the thing is hot. Mm hmm. You saw how bubbling it was. One uh -huh. inch space, yes, ma'am. Yep. You tell us, and this still look pink. <laughs> so you put it in the yeah. jar, right? Yes, raw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One inch hit space, yes. And it does your your pressure because I mean, it's even those small jars cook for an hour, fifteen above boiling. So mm -hmm. oh yeah, it's cooked. And like I said, tender. Mm -hmm. Get what? Yep. No. We did. Um, wow. I went to my bathroom, so put my hot roast. Mm -hmm. Hour fifteen for a pint. Hour thirty for a quart. Yeah, that's standard for me. Um, I need smell vision. Yes, it smells like I'm making a roast in the oven. Mm-hmm. And that pot roast we did last year, we did it with the veggies and stuff, so it has carrot, celery onion, all that stuff in it, potatoes, and I have made that for my family. They enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've had it. Um, my sister was the first one to have it, and mm -hmm. she has asked me multiple times, when am I making more? <laughs> Is it still cooking also? Yes, mm -hmm. it's bubbling. So you went cook the meat till it was like just a bit and then you put it in there? No, I put it in there raw, Mimi. It was raw, raw. So now how you know if they're fully cooked? For one, it cooked an hour, 15 minutes above boiling. When they're in a the pressure canner, that cooks above what what boiling water ever goes. Don't touch it. That's yeah, you're going to burn your hand off, girl. 
<laughs> that's why you have to put it in the pressure canner because it gets it gets a higher temperature than boiling. So that meat is done. We get this little learning. Yes. He is I learning. I can read, David. <laughs> she this is all her learning. And then the next, because you heard her say, I didn't think that you could can me. Who told you that? You guys couldn't have some. What was it? She's she's not she she's not taking it in like that, Indiana. <laughs> she said, I wish my girls would like to learn. No, you no, took that as her like to learn. Something. It was probably something random, Mimi. You asked me some random question or asked me if I could can like cream of chicken or something, and I said no. She did not say it was still pink. David, she asked her, did she cook it, leaving it a little pink before she canned it? <laughs> and you just hear what you want. You didn't hear the whole thing. <laughs> she making me right, almost touching that jar. She really was. was it the left her soup? Finger. And you asked me about the noodles Sit on there. You can can chicken. You said you said something because you had to learn about it. So that oh, you can just don't cook Indiana. She will. When I went to that class? No, no, this was years ago when you first started. Well, oh, when I first started, Mimi, yeah, I had to learn what I was doing. That's what I'm saying. But I've been canning meat since then. That's what I'm saying. This is not the first time I canned meat. But you still had to learn. That's what she said. That's what I was asking. Do you have to learn? Yes, I had to learn what I was doing. I didn't just... Just do something because I would did it wrong, got sick or something. So I had to learn what I was doing. And that's why I'm a master. Check her certificate. Wait, can you teach people get them that That's my certificate over there. That's something else. That's serve safe. That means I know how to clean the kitchen. So could you teach people how to can? I could. That's what I'm doing. Like an instructor type though. Yes. You want to learn how to can Mimi? What you looking at me for? Gina asked. I don't know. Not right now. No, I didn't mean right now. We finished canning for today, but. That's no, something? I'm talking about later on in life. Like <laughs> Later <laughs> on in life. Are you trying to say like. When you're old, is that what you're trying to say, Mimi? No, but like when I just have time to sit down and learn about candy and stuff, you know. <laughs> I felt I felt the when I'm old in her spirit. <laughs> That's what she was saying. When I'm old like y'all, I wanna do it. <laughs> when I don't have a life. <laughs> When I have time to sit down and do it, that's what she was saying. When I don't have anything else to do <laughs> with my life. That's the point, David. We raise our children up to be better. Do everything better. That's mm -hmm. the point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unicorn lady said, get paid to you. Mike says she burned you all. <laughs> She did, she did. Without, without saying it. You know what she was thinking. We know. I, when I got time, when I when my life is over. <laughs> I am way too when young I'm for old, this. Like, wow. <laughs> when my back gets up. That part, in Indiana, you got time to eat, though. Right. <laughs> Mm -mm. She done went David, don't, in the room. David, don't come for us. <laughs> don't come for us. Because you definitely in, in the same bracket, if not. <laughs> she was talking to you, too. Thank you. Unicorn lady, exactly. <laughs> when my back gets a hump in it, I'll be ready, she said. <laughs> She 
She felt the trap, though. <laughs> she did. So she I'm felt glad. the trap. I'm surprised she got out of that one. If she was not, if she had a son and not a daughter, her son would have walked into the trap. Men just don't, they don't, they don't see the trap. <laughs> and then they walk in. Okay, Indiana. David, oh man, she said, not me. Don't hate the play, hate the game, old ladies. <laughs> I know mine ain't. What's how long has it been? It's been off almost twenty minutes. I'm gonna go check and it's see. About it. twenty minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go check. Okay. Now she a mess. Yeah, she should know after all this time what's going on. I have even started taking some of some of my recipes and writing them down for her. That way she can do it herself. But I'm like, after all this time, you should know how to put something in the crock pot or how I make my beef and noodles or how I make something. You you grown. How you gonna cook on your own when you get your own place? So yeah, I got a book back there where I write down stuff for her. <laughs> Just simple stuff. How I make nachos. She, I, I've never changed the way I made nachos. She she knows. It smells that beef smells so good. So oh so good. And mine was ready. But it will have webs on it when she's ready. You right. right. <laughs> if it was up to her, so, it would. There is the finished Ooh. product. I hate it because it siphoned some, I could tell. I always mm -hmm. do. I never have a batch that doesn't. But yeah, mm -hmm. it still looks good. All right. Mm -hmm. It does look good. And it smells good. It does smell good. It smells like I'm making Sunday dinner. Yes, exactly. Cheryl says, looks good. Um, David says, we don't acknowledge that sign. Web webs on she won't know it till she gets hungry and you're not around. You right, you right. You horse till why is that done? Gina's camera does not do her stuff. Her her streaming camera does not do her stuff justice. Ask her when she comes back up. She'll say hers is as dark as our as mine over there. I'm tired, y'all. I'm ready for bed. And this chair. And you know what? I just realized after I went back in the kitchen, I don't usually take the lid off that quickly. I usually wait. I usually um, open it, but not take it off all the way. So I probably changed mm -hmm. the temperature too quick mm -hmm. um Gina, is your the color because david said yours was awful light is yours color like closer to mine huh? it's brown he said it was light and it did it came through light but i remember oh. you said something about your camera your streaming camera before mm -hmm. that it does no, it was it, it was brown and looked like beef when it's cooked mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and it's the it's my ring, y'all. So like when I try to show y'all stuff, the color never comes through with this thing on ring light. Mm -hmm. I have a um thing on my my laptop, so 
I show up well, but it also just distorts the color of stuff. So like, this, what color does that look? This is something I got from um, in the mail. Just got in the mail from Lazy Days. It looks almost pink. like orange. Or yeah, oh, orangey. It's not a little bit. <laughs> and it's coming through that like. way to me too. When I show it to y'all, it looks orangey to me too. But it's not on this side. Mm -hmm. So it's Miss Felicia what said, "Do you all check yours too soon?" I what? <laughs> You check yours too soon. I, I didn't check it too soon. It was it was ready, but I I usually don't take it out right away. And yeah, I did this time. And I, when I did it, I was like, wait a minute. I usually wait like five or ten minutes before I take them out. <laughs> what did he say? Did he get David said. David said because. Oh, okay. Let's go back. Skirt. No, he it's said, not. you're still white. It's not that. And I was like, no, that's not it. And he said, well, I was saying what you said about your camera, that it doesn't do it justice. It's he said, not. oh, her. It's the ring light. It, that's I what. I could turn it down, and that might help when I'm trying to show you certain stuff. So, like, now that I turned it down, let's see what this looks like. Now, you can tell I turned it down, right? Because that's yeah, it. Yeah, I can tell your background. <laughs> Yeah, so it's I turned it down. Now it still looks orangey to me. It's about the same. Yeah. It's about the same. It we know what you're talking about. about. <laughs> we know what you're talking about. I don't be rushing it, Felicia. <laughs> I'll be trying to. I do be trying. I do be trying to get the pressure at the same time as Tia, though. I do try to do that. <laughs> what pass on what, Gina? You always check the same one. Um, I, it actually was ready when I went in there, though. It had dropped. Um, but I don't know what um, you're passing on. David, do you still, are your chicken still? <laughs> Shut up, boy. <laughs> A mess. And I don't have any of my canned chicken in here. It's actually in my basement. <laughs> or I always show it to you. How it turned out. But it turns out just it looks just like chicken. It's just in a in a in a jar. It's just in a, a jar. In a see-through jar when you get it at the store. It's in a can and you can't see it. This is the same. Mm -hmm. He said a total mess. We missed you, David. <laughs> Thank you, David. He's like, yeah, I know you could cook. Let me stop. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, y'all. So next week, we can in some chicken soup. And honestly, I'm just doing it because I need some little jars to take to work. Yeah. <laughs> I do have some of that up here. Mostly up here, I have all my dang on vegetable broth. Because when I tell y'all that vegetable broth is so good. It's yes, so good. with me, chicken is what meat. So to be chicken, all you need for it is if you're gonna do it with us, chicken, um, broth, carrot, celery, onion. Mm -hmm. And I do mine real easy. I um I do the chicken is cooked. I was good. I was just about to say that so that they know that it's not yeah raw. It's it's not raw. Um, so the chicken is cooked. I just put my chicken in the pressure 
cooker and for about 10, 15 minutes, and then it makes its own broth. And then I add it to that vegetable broth that Gina was just talking about and add in the celery and onions. And, it's your uh, choice, Miss Cheryl. You can use either or mm -hmm. both. She asked, uh, what, 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 oh, you know, no, she just said with meat. I thought she said white meat. Oh. <laughs> said with meat. Mm -hmm. Yes, with meat. Yeah. With meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's so good. And we're not going to can up any, can it with any rice or noodles. Mm -hmm. But when you open it, you can add whatever you want to it then. It's mm -hmm. Yep, and I think we had like celery, carrots, onion, mm -hmm. everything in there. Mm -hmm. I and I had it in my desk at work. So I usually do quarts for everything. And I had it in my desk at work uh, the other day. I was starving. So I went ahead and opened it up. And oh, man, I forgot how good it was. <laughs> it is. It's really good, y'all. It is. And you don't even have to just eat it as soup. I mean, you could take this and put it in a pot pie. You can put it in, I've done chicken and noodles with it. Whatever your mind can come up with to do with the mm -hmm. chicken and dumplings, mm -hmm. you can do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's good as just chicken soup. Boil you some um, noodles and make you a chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Can you make some chicken noodle soup? Or do we have any out here today? We have some down in the basement. Can you bring up some paper towels? That's why she's canning chicken noodle soup. Or chicken soup. That's why. Just heard Gina. She's in the refrigerator. She said. Chicken soup. <laughs> Did somebody soup. say chicken soup? <laughs> <laughs> yes, next Saturday. I'll be using pipes because I want the spar jars because I know we have quartz down there. She Watch her act like she don't know. She's not going to know where anything is down there. Mm -hmm. Yep. They don't like to move stuff. If she mm -hmm. has to move something, that's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. I'm doing with me. I did some chicken first. I'm y'all five months. <laughs> Michelle, she did. She's her first thing she can was chicken, y'all. Michelle went in hard. She kept all the easy stuff. She was like, chicken it is. <laughs> now she got shelves of stuff. I know she do. Yes. She is constantly posting on Instagram all the things she has canned. You can do it in pints or quarts, whatever you prefer, Unicorn Lady. Mine is a minor in pints. Mm -hmm. But I think Tia did some in quarts the last time. I did mine in quarts. I usually do my stuff in quarts. But if I want it for at work where it's just me, I'm going to do pints, which is what I want. And she should have been back up here by now. So I know she can't find it. Yes, ma'am. Indiana, Saturday, same time, same place. On channel... Refrigerator again. What? Wait, hold yeah. on. Hold up on channel. Channels. Refrigerator again. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't. I'm, I'm not reading it. Why? Oh, you found it? Yeah. There's only one more jar down there, though. One more quart? Yeah. And that was it? Yeah. Looks like I got to be making a bunch. So she said it was this one. And then we have one more quart down in there. Mm -hmm. What? Is this on? No. I think the phone died. It died. You going to use that pot? Yeah, you know how to make yes, it? Yeah, nine o'clock. Yeah, I think she, as a matter of fact, I know that um, there's already a thumbnail up on uh, the tubers, on the YouTubes. Okay, go ahead. What is this, celery? Celery, carrots, chicken? Yeah, nine o'clock mm -hmm. on Saturday. 
Oh, he wants you to say refrigerator again. Refrigerator. He said you be he said he messed with you. He said you be talking proper. What was I supposed to say? Refrigerator. <laughs> but I, I well, it's not coming. It's not showing good because I got like all them bottles of wine in my thing. <laughs> Y'all, Gina done started something. I have. You see, she done turned this pot on the stove on high, nothing in it, and walked away. I'm letting it heat up. You don't, it's not a skillet. You ain't got to let it heat up. You don't just let a pot heat up. You should know that. I don't need no oil in it. No, you don't put no oil in it. You should come by. This was fun, Indiana. This was a good time. It's got enough problems. Y'all be keeping me up. The chat is what keeps me awake because I am not a late person. I'm not a late night person. Um, I've been um getting into the um the Stella Rosa, um, Felicia. I like the peach, but I've had a lot of the. I've had I had watermelon as well, and then I had. Well, if you want more broth, put more broth in. Ozone or something it was called. We got some jerk chicken out there. Can you ever use this? Um, hold on. Unicorn lady. She just asked what this is. It's been up here since the summertime. Isn't that up? Oh Lord, I remember when you did that. What From when you mean? harvested your peppers. Uh -huh. Was that a fall it? recipe, the chicken soup? Yes. Okay, <laughs> it got a weird like. It, it tastes like peppers, but then also something else. What's this stuff? No, it's all peppers. Mm -hmm. Maybe some garlic in there, but it's all peppers. Let me, Let me go check this out. Let's see if I can get it. Tia, can you put me on, on single so they can screenshot this? Um, yes. Recipe if it focuses. Oh, it focuses. Good. There we go. That way you can screenshot it with all in it. That is the guide to preserving. And I don't know if it's how well it's coming through, but it says that this makes eight pints or four quarts. And like Tia always tells me, it always is just a little less than what that says. And um, I have the the video with the thumbnail up already, and I will put in the description the link to the recipe if you want to um check that. Yep, that's an easy one, and it's good. It is really, really delicious. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it is. Easy, easy. Mm -hmm. easy. This is, uh, oh, you saw the book, Indiana. I'm sorry, I didn't even see your question until just now. It's so for great. anybody who Guide wants to know preserving this. Page 104. <laughs> yep. Just in case you have it. It's a fave for sure, Indiana. It is. It's, I like things that are I can I don't have to only eat it the way it is too. Look at the twins. Look at Kodak. He's so sick of it. Oh, he's like, can I get some chicken soup? Oh, <laughs> he begging. Look at Philip. What do you want? Yeah, he begging. Like he gonna eat soup. 
<laughs> Let that get hot, Mimi. Turn that up on high. Let that come to a boil. Oh, that's what you do? Yeah, you slow boil. Girl. Uh, yes, good. it's very versatile. Yes. It's a good base. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep. And that's what I like about it. Now, why are you playing with him and you cooking? I'm got a fork. Oh. Listen, dogs stay begging. They really do. That's what they do. Yeah. And even if they don't come and beg, like literally beg, they give you the look of begging. Like, but mommy. Could I still give you the look? And Chewie's going to show his tail. That's what Chewie's going to do. Chewie's like, huh? You see me! Give it to me. Chewie, what's on your head? You want me to drop something on Chewie's head? I ain't dropped nothing on his head. Zeke pouts. See those eyes. I can see that. Those puppy eyes. I used to tell my dog, don't don't look at me like that. Don't give me those eyes. <laughs> mm -mm. All right, y'all. We about to call it quits. Yes, because look, I gotta go get I gotta get up at early in the morning because I'm getting my hair retightened. Yeah, get your hair redid. I need sleep. I got a for my mama was an abuser. What I couldn't have her have gave her my honest opinion. David, Sit. she ain't abusing her. <laughs> Good night, everybody. This was nice. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye. Good night, y'all. Bye. <laughs>